30 trillion dollars are going to be able to buy if they want bitcoin once the spot bitcoin etf comes about i'm going to share with you who said that plus i have much more but first i want you to guess i will say at the very end of this video who this is but guess who said bit 11 years ago today somebody said bitcoin's days are numbered it seems like just a matter of time before it suffers the same fate as online gambling. So as I go through this video, guess who said that? <laughs> All right. But if you want to say this person really messed up back then because the best performing asset over the last decade is Bitcoin up 569,772%. Beat that. Anywhere you can't. Uh, the the next up was Tesla, pretty much at twelve thousand percent. But gold was at nine percent. What a great inflation hedge! All right, now let's go over to Bob Lucas uh, on Twitter. It says the level of SEC engagement and back and forth changes on the bit on the Bitcoin uh, spot ETF tells us that this is a ninety nine point nine nine percent done deal also lyle pratt on twitter says looks like black blackrock has caved to the sec's demands uh, to exclude uh, in-kind creations and redemptions from their spot bitcoin etf they just filed their amendment now this is the highlighted amendment right here these transactions will take place in exchange for cash, subject to the in-kind uh, regulatory approval. These transactions may also take place in exchange for Bitcoin. Obviously, they're spending so much time on this. It's going to pass. There's a lot of people that think it's not going to pass till much later or never. It's going to pass. And this is probably one of the reasons, it, like I called my video yesterday, when I said, hey, there's a lot of people on the sidelines waiting for lower prices. These guys are not going to get it because BlackRock and the other big boys understand cycles. And they want this cycle to be a little bit different to where pretty much the the any dips that we get, they're going to be bought up really fast. And it's going to trick people into thinking, oh, it's going to fall a lot, lot lower. And it doesn't. It'll just keep, going, keep on going up. Essentially, what's happening right now is you're having the big players liquidity grabbing. So in other words, people that are long or short, these big players are taking advantage of these people. Anybody long or short, and they're not these big banks, are playing with fire. Uh, now we have the Grayscale CEO saying a $30 trillion in wealth will be able to buy Bitcoin through a spot Bitcoin ETF. That doesn't mean that $30 trillion will be injected immediately in the market. No, this could be a long time coming. Eventually, Bitcoin will have a $30 trillion market cap. That's pretty much given at this point that how much currency they're printing. I'm going to go over that as well. But uh, it's just it's going to be a slow process, in my opinion. Um, but it's going to happen now. Speaking about a non slow process, if you've seen INJ, which is a layer one boy. Uh, now, if you are a CT Club member of ours, the link is down below, you will have known that we've been buying INJ at, uh, uh, on February 9th was my first call for INJ, around $3.70, and I did many, many uh, updates, trade alerts saying I'm buying more and buying more and buying more, around like the $7 mark, and now it's just hit a, about $40 today. And this is during a time where a lot of a lot of the market was really under pressure. So any time that we're seeing a lot of pressure in the market, INJ seems to be kicking butt, and that is a very strong protocol this this time. And I back in the day around February, I was calling for that this would probably be be the new Solana. Uh, you know the price action that Solana once experienced back last bull market. I think INJ is going to be this one, but who knows? You never know, but uh, if you feel like you missed the boat on this, you didn't because there's plenty of other coins out there that have not broken out like INJ has. And if you want to know what we're doing and you want to know what coins we're looking at, definitely check out the CT Club. The link is down below. 
now going on to this bull market. This isn't just a bull market in crypto. This is a bull market in, in equities as well. So check this out. This is from Zero Hedge. Wall Street's biggest bear, Mike Wilson, finally capitulates. Equities have the green light to ramp higher. Why would he say that? Well, the Federal Reserve just said there's three rate cuts uh, that could be needed in 2024. This is, this is uh, backed up by the Wall Street Journal. That's not saying much, but three rate cuts could happen next year. This is so different from what we've been hearing from pretty much everyone on Twitter was saying the macro environment, they're, the Fed are just going to keep raising rates. They're going to keep raising rates. I'm sticking my head out the whole time going, no, they're not. They're not. They're, it's completely meaningless. And plus, even if they did decide to raise rates, they're going to be printing so much currency. It's not going to matter. Speaking about the amount of currency, congratulations today. The national debt just reached a new time high of $33,883,845,835,000. today. And it's going to keep going up, guys. There's no stopping this. It, this is a debt bubble that's going parabolic. And sometimes these, these bubbles take a very long time to burst, like a hundred years or so. They, this could take a hundred years for it to burst. So, I mean, look no further than what happened with Rome. These people are much more sophisticated, all right? They have a lot of different ways to kick the can down the road. So what's the best way to combat that? Bitcoin, 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 Bitcoin. And guess what? Bitcoin's the 16th largest currency or I wouldn't say Bitcoin's currency, it's money. It's the largest form of, form of exchange in the world. And lastly, as promised, who was the person that said Bitcoin's days are numbered? It seems like just a matter of time before it suffers the same fate as online gambling. That was Michael Saylor. So just be careful on who you actually listen to all the time. Everybody has their flaws in this space and that was a very famous quote of his. Anyways, that's all I have. Please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you soon.